This is a hydrogen atom, or at least a Python simulation of one that I made to learn about quantum mechanics. When I first encountered quantum mechanics, I struggled to develop an intuition for how electrons behave inside an atom. Unlike planets orbiting a star, electrons do not follow fixed paths. They exist as probability clouds, or orbitals, which describe the regions where an electron is most likely to be found. In textbooks, these orbitals are often represented as still images, making it hard to fully grasp their nature. But quantum mechanics is not static. It is dynamic, probabilistic, and wave-like. I wanted a way to visualize these quantum states in motion, to interact with them, and to gain deeper understanding and intuition of what they actually look like beyond equations and diagrams. That's why I built this simulation. This Python script offers a visual and interactive representation of the electron cloud in the hydrogen atom. What you see here is not an electron moving in a fixed orbit, but rather a collection of thousands of tiny particles, each representing a possible location of the electron according to the wave function probability distribution. The denser and the brighter an area, the greater the probability of the electron being found there. This distribution is not random though. It emerges from a fundamental solution to the Schrodinger's equation. The key equation that describes quantum mechanics by simulating this probability cloud with dynamic particles, the visualization allow you to see how the electrons exist as a wave-like entity rather than a point-like object. Unlike static image, the simulation is fully interactive. You can modify the quantum numbers to observe how the shape and orientation of the orbital change. The principal quantum number n determines the electron's energy level and the overall size of the orbital. The azimuthal quantum number L controls its shape, whether it's spherical, dumbbell-like, or more complex. And the magnetic quantum number M affects how the orbital is oriented in space. As you adjust these values, the simulation instantly updates, allowing you to explore how quantum mechanics dictates the structure of atoms in real time. To enhance the realism of the visualization, I added subtle movement effects. The particles do not stay complete still, they drift slightly within their probability zones, giving impressions of constantly fluctuating quantum state. This mimics the inherent uncertainty of an electron's position, as described by the Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. The idea that an electron's exact position and momentum cannot be simultaneously determined. Additionally, the simulation features cursor interaction, where particles react by moving away when you hover over them with your mouse. This effect adds an extra layer of engagement, reinforcing the idea that electron clouds is not rigid, but something that responds dynamically to its environment. To better illustrate the quantum wave function, I also included multiple color schemes. Some highlight the probability density, making the orbital's structure clearer, while others visualize the phase of the wave function, showing regions of positive and negative amplitude. This is a, an important aspect of quantum mechanics as the wave function is not just a probability distribution, but a mathematical function with phase components that influence how electrons behave when interacting with each other 
or with external fields. Now, for me, building this simulation was an opportunity to develop a more intuitive grasp of quantum mechanics, to move beyond abstract equations and actually see the probability distribution that define atomic structure. By interacting with these orbitals, adjusting their parameters and watching them evolve in real time, I was able to bridge the gap between theory and intuition. I hope this visualization provides you the same insight, play around with the settings, observe how orbitals change and, and explore the hidden world of quantum mechanics in a way that textbooks alone cannot offer. The atomic world is not only deeply mathematical, it is also beautifully structured and through simulations like this we can finally see the invisible.